Hello students, in this series of lectures, we will be covering DNA repair mechanisms. Now, as you can see, uh, when a cell undergoes damage, the cell cycle has a few checkpoints and these actually controls whether the cell will survive if there is a damage to the DNA, okay, or ultimately the cell will die, okay. So, there is a long way to go from death, okay. So, we will be studying step by step in few upcoming lectures what are the various mechanisms of DNA. Now, as you can see, this is the first mechanism that we are going to discuss. This is the SOS repair mechanism. Now, just a line about DNA repair. What is DNA repair? It refers to the collection of all the processes that takes care of any DNA damage done to the genome. All right. And as I told you, if DNA is not repaired, it will ultimately lead to mutation and cell death. You should know that a human genome actually has 64 billion base pairs and actually this replication is highly efficient process. Okay, and the replication rate is only, the error rate is only 1 in 10 to the power 8 nucleotides and most of it, I mean 99% is repaired and only the error rate is 1 in 10 to the power 10 nucleotides. So, what all diseases we will be discussing? is this much rare okay it's not common okay humans are actually very safe in the replication process so coming to the sos response in sos response uh, this response system actually is triggered when there is an excess overwhelming amount of ultraviolet radiation to the cells the other mechanisms are actually have lost their capacity to control the cell and then this cell will continue to live at the cost of being mutated. So, remember in SOS response, the cell will survive at the cost of being mutated and it is only triggered when all other repair mechanisms are overwhelmed by the amount of damage, unparalleled amount of damage that can happen due to overwhelming amount of UV radiation. This is the damage done by ultraviolet light. So, what's this actually? You know, uh, and to mention, in after every series of slide, we'll be uh, giving you an illustration, okay, video illustration, so that it will be easier for you to understand. Now, the thing is, in the cell, normally, there is a repression. Repression means inhibition, inhibition of all SOS genes. What are the SOS genes? These are the SOS genes, okay these are all the SOS genes that are normally repressed. They are not active, okay. Why this is not active? Due to the presence of Lex A operon, okay. This is actually an operon system. If you have studied Lac operon, then you will understand, no, what an operon is. Actually, an operon is a functional unit of gene with a promoter site, okay. This is what we mean, mean by an operon. Anyway, so, uh, normally, this system, SOS gene, Lex A, is repressed. It's not working. So, SOS box, in SOS promoter, it's repressed. What happens when there is an overwhelming amount of DNA damage due to UV radiation? The Rec A system senses it, okay? And it activates, this Rec A system is activated. Okay, and what it does, it cleaves the Lex A. So now the Lex A system is no longer able to repress these. So now the SOS response system is no longer repressed. I mean the inhibition of the inhibitor is gone and this will now activate and it will now repair the damaged DNA. So let us look into this video. So, what normally happens is this uh, DNA, in the DNA molecule, there is Rec A system, which is actually inactive, okay? It sleeps, okay, as shown in this. And what actually this Rec A is doing, as I told you, it is inhibiting Lex A normally. Otherwise, and so Lex A, what it does, okay? Rec A when activated inhibits Lex A, but otherwise when this Rec A is inactive, Lex A is active and Lex A represses all SOS responding genes, as I told you in the chart. So, 
what happens when this rec a is active under damaged uv damaged dna okay then this rec a will cleave the lex a molecules it will cut and so this cleaved can no longer repress the sos operon so now the sos operon is active and it will take care of all the repaired all the damaged dna and it will repair all the dna damaged segments so that's it for today's video feel free to write anything in the comment section and i will see you soon with another video of this series till then bye and take care